John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us. And partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals since 2006. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Our back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And now here's the starter for St. Louis, Andre Palante. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. One out, base is empty. Stays alive. The pitch. Goes down looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. Up the middle, on the run, sent it over to first. Padres go down one, two, three. We're midway in inning number one. No score. Back here in St. Louis, and starting in this one, Joe Musgrove. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club, and coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the That's zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. And yeah, the right-hander deals. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Not even close there. Now two and two. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. Here's a 2-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man at first with one gone. Here's Nolan Arenado. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance B, there's one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. New inning getting started. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The wind of the pitch. Stop. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner.
Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All-Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. One down. That is it. The second baseman, Xander Bogart. And here is Xander Bogarts. All tied up here at the top of the second. Bogarts. Who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Jackson Merrill, the next the up for the Padres. Merrill, a very strong candidate for Rookie of the Year. He's been a real story, one of the best young players in the majors this season. Hey. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium. Now it's the DH. Luke and Baker. Luke Baker. Clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Now he launches a throw over his head. Around second now, going for three. Tag, got him. Aggressive base running there, trying to take advantage of the defense, but he's out at third. Really nice job of hitting right there, but you've got to be a better base runner than that and understand the situation. With nobody out, you've got to be able to shut it down, stay at second, keep yourself in scoring position instead of killing a potential rally. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And a one-two. X and misses. It's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. The it's got game. so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Way high. Nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. In the air, left field. Profar has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Here in St. Louis, out of the third inning, and now the right fielder, David Peralta. Peralta. And the pitch. And another ball. Hit hard. That gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. And a count one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's a one-two. And misses inside. 
with the go-ahead run at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Just missed. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Mason McCoy on deck for the Padres. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking. And that's the first down. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Off side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Mason McCoy, the next up for the Padres. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. Fouled off down the right side. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. He's under it. And there's two down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Luis Arise stands in. His July and August splits there. Two outs. Swing and a base hit. Peralta around second, headed for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. Two on, two outs. And oh. now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this two next ball, pitch. Couple strike. runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Top of the third, no score. That's a base hit. Runner from third, into score. And it's 1-0. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, two outs. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. And he was cut on and missed. And it's one and two. The rise at second, Profar at first, two out of the inning. Gets a piece and stays alive. One and two here. Lifted in the air out to left. He's under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Set for the bottom of the third and stepping in for the Cardinals, the Lars Newtbar. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Gets it to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's Tommy Pham. One down, base is empty. Late on that fastball. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next pitch misses way outside. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. 
Oh, he doesn't get the call. Three balls, two strikes. That's when you always want as a pitcher, down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Slice to right. Makes the grab. And there's two down. Well, off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run that on done. base. Maybe the even pitcher. extra bases. Hey, no bro. dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Pedro Pajas digs in now. Two down, nobody on. Three. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They're down, one nothing. And we're back out of the fourth. Barbara. Here's the third, the baseman, third baseman, Manny Machado. Manny Machado. The why to kick the pitch. And Manny gets a piece. The wine of the pitch. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. The batter number two. Here's Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Yeah. On the inside corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And they'll do it again. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a the ball. Swing and a bouncer. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number three, Jackson Merrill. And now Jackson Merrill, his home and away splits there. Two outs. Over and swing there from the big left hand hitter. Off balance as well. Two down, nobody on. And that one missing low. Hard ground ball, base knock. And that extends the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right now there as he got into an advantage field. count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. David Peralta at the That's play. Bolton. And now two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Merrill leads off first with two down to the inning. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. The runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Padres one and the Cardinals nothing. And welcome back Ready to the go. ballpark. Ready to go for the last Not half of the stop. inning. Stepping in, Mason Wynn. And that one's a little bit low. And it's 2-1. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but 
He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. No outs. Runner at first. Alec Burleson next up for the Cardinals. That's oh. down and in. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Good oh, eye in that spot. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. On the first double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Great textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Nolan Arenado. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Cardinals, Sonny Gray, 25th appearance of the year for him. Here's the catcher to hit, Kyle Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka. Right-handed reliever. Two ball, one strike. Out to short, win. Fires over to oh. first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now batting, shortstop, Mason McCoy. So digging in, Mason McCoy. Righty delivers. Next oh, offering is outside. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Kyle Leahy up and throwing. Romero getting cranked up as well. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And the righty deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. This one in the air right field. Dives and makes the catch. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over it. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. Luis Arias getting ready to hit. The wind and the pitch. That's ball off the prepared. mark. And yeah, that's ball two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They lead it one nothing. Bottom of the inning. And down to DH. Luke and Baker. The designated hitter. Luke Baker. And a count one and two. Now 
And a pitch. Outside low. Two and two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. In the air, right field. Brings it in. And there's one away. Up next for the Cardinals. The Brendan Donovan. Next Brendan. up for the Cardinals. Donovan. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two straight. And it's even up. And here it comes. Swung on, belted. Back there. And that ball is out of here. A solo shot. His 11th of the year. It's 1-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. One down. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And that one fouled off. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. He makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting, center fielder, Lars Newbar. Next up for the Cardinals. Newbar. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. Nope, Just the missed. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Left-hand hitter waits. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. A gigantic blast. And the Cardinals walk it off. dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.